Cyclone Debbie Queenslanders prepare for cleanup. Demolition Debbie leads chaos. Emergency crews have begun fanning out across the communities of North Queensland's Whitsundy coast in a desperate search for victims of tropical cyclone Debbie. The extent of casualties and destruction of the slow-moving near cyclone remained unknown at nightfall, after record winds and torrential rain restricted the movements of emergency services. Debbie is currently a Category 2 cyclone centered to the southwest of Collinsville. A warning zone is still in place for air to St. Lawrence, including Mackay, and the Whitsundy Islands, extending inland to Charters Towers, Mount Coulomb, and Moranba. The full extent of the ferocious cyclone Debbie's destruction won't be known until emergency teams begin a massive clean-up effort in its North Queensland disaster zone tomorrow. The clean-up for the worst cyclone to hit the state since you see in 2011 will start at first light on Wednesday, with Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk predicting shock and awe across the Whitsundy region. The storm and its 260 km per hour winds downed trees, stripped buildings and left shorelines swamped after making landfall as a Category 4 storm near Ely Beach at midday on Tuesday. There are now concerns for the 1,500 residents of Collinsville, who have never encountered a cyclone of Debbie's force. The Army has been called in to clean up Queensland's disaster zone after Cyclone Debbie smashed into the Whitsundy region, unleashing howling winds of 260 km per hour. The storm downed trees, stripped buildings and left shorelines swamped after making landfall as a Category 4 storm at midday near Ely Beach and is expected to continue wreaking havoc for the rest of the week. It was downgraded to a Category 3 cyclone just after 3 p.m., but strong winds continued to lash Ely Beach, Proserpine and Bowen later in the afternoon. The state's Premier and Police Commissioner issued grave warnings to residents. We are going to get lots of reports of damage and sadly I think we will also receive more reports of injuries, if not deaths. We need to be prepared for that Commissioner Ian Stewart said on Tuesday afternoon. The Insurance Council of Australia declared the storm a catastrophe, with thousands of claims expected in coming weeks. It came after a man, believed to be aged in his 60s, was badly injured when a wall collapsed on him in Proserpine. He is now in a stable condition in Proserpine Hospital, 